Hello, welcome to another lesson in coordinate geometry where we are considering the equations of uh, lines that are parallel. Okay, two lines or maybe more lines that are parallel to each other. What are we saying? So there's a point to note here. When two lines are parallel to each other, their gradients are the same. Two lines that are parallel to each other have the same gradient. So if this is the gradient for the first equation, for the first uh, equation, or for the first line, uh, and then this is the equation for uh, this is the gradient for the second uh, equation. Then we are saying we are equating their gradients because we are saying they are equal. Okay, uh, equations, gradients of two lines that are parallel are equal. Take note of that. Parallel, they are equal. So, for instance, we are looking at, we want to write the equation of a line that is parallel to this equation. Okay? You have got, uh, this is an x, y pen here. We've got this one. It's given, then you've got another one. It's given these lines that are parallel to each other, these, okay? They have the same gradient. That's what we are saying. So now we are saying, for instance, this equation is given here as this one. Then the second one, it passes through some point here, this point that is given here. So this is going to give us the gradient because we are not given the gradient, but we are given a point. And we know that to write the equation, we need the gradient. So this must assist us to find the gradient. The gradient that we're going to get here is the same gradient that we're going to use uh, to find the equation of the other line. Now, you know that to find the gradient here, what do we need to do? Uh, we have to write this... Uh, okay. We need to write our equation in this form. Okay, then we're going to get this as the gradient here, the coefficient of x, all right? So that is what the job that we have here. We need to write this one in that form where we make, we are solving for y. We are solving for y. So we are going to say now, I'm beginning to solve. Uh, the additive inverse of 4x is plus 4x. So it's going to come the other side. So we're going to remain with 3y. Uh, then this is equals to minus 4x. Then plus, I have to make sure that the x part comes immediately after the equal sign. That's what I've done. This one has gone the other side. And then we still have the coefficient here, which is 3. We we'll also say 3 and 3 there. So we have y is equal to minus 3 uh, plus, this is the y-intercept here. But our interest is the gradient. Our m is what? Minus 4 over 3. This is the gradient. This is our gradient. So we are going to use this gradient now to come up with the equation. And the method that we are using to find the equation, we have used it in the previous lesson. I hope you have also gone to the other lessons to have maximum benefit of this presentation. So now we are coming up with the equation. You know that to come up with the equation, we use this formula. I said there are other formulas, but for me, and my pupils, this is the formula that we use. We have our gradient, and this is the y coordinate, the x coordinate of the point that is given. In this case, the point that is given is this one. Our x coordinate is this one. Our y coordinate is this one. So we replace minus, I'm supposed to say, y minus negative what? 1. But because we have a negative here, allow me to just add. This is equals to, what is our gradient? Our gradient is minus 4 over 3, x, x minus 0, our x coordinate is 0, now, um, just to set the, the uh, or maybe just to make it easier, although in this case we have a 0 here, so there is no need of doing that, but what I always do with my people is just to avoid making having a fraction here, if we had a non-zero digit here, I do advise them to cross multiply when the gradient is a fraction. So maybe for the sake of 
uh, demonstrating what I'm trying to explain. Let's just do that. So we say we cross multiply when this is a fraction, then we're going to have minus 4x minus 0 there. So this is going to give us 3y plus 3 is equal to minus 4 uh, minus 0. Well, so we may not need the 0 part there. So let me just ignore you know, that part. So we go on, we say 3, this is equal to minus 4x minus 3. So this one goes the other side there as a minus 3, okay? As a minus 3. So then if you want, we can divide throughout by 3. So we're going to have y is equal to minus 4 over 3x minus 3 over 3. And finally, we can have minus 4 over 3x minus 1. When you divide there, you've got 1. So this is an equation. So the gradients are the same. When you look at the gradient of this equation and the gradient of this equation, they are basically the same. When the two um, equations, I mean, when the two equations or lines are parallel to each other, that is basically what we are supposed to do. Okay? So let's look at the second one. It's the same point. We are using this, same, this point, so this one just needs to get us the gradient. What are we supposed to do? Said we write this one, we write this equation, in a, in the form that I demonstrated here. In the form that I demonstrated where we say y is equal to plus, okay? After we have written our equation in that form, then we'll be able to get the m as the gradient here for this one. So when we start that process, we have 2. This is equal to what? Minus x minus 2, okay? This one gets this side, the additive inverse. Then you divide throughout by 2. Divide throughout by 2. So what are we going to get here? You will discover that here there is a coefficient 1 here. There is a coefficient 1. So the gradient that we are going to get from this one, it's what this one, this part also you divide by 2. But we are interested on the, uh, in the coefficient of x, which is our gradient. So the gradient that we are going to get here, you will discover that it's what? Minus 1 over 2. Minus 1 over 2. That is what is going to be our gradient. Now we are saying the 2... Uh, lines or equations are parallel to each other. So this gradient will get it's equal to the other gradient that we want because the two equations or lines are parallel. So we'll get this same gradient, please. Here, take note of that. We'll get this same gradient because we want uh, the equation of the line that is parallel to this one. So now I'm going now to come and say uh, we write the equation. I have emphasized that for me, this is the formula that I use to come up with the. Uh, it's the formula that I use. So what do I get there? We have y minus. What is my the y coordinate here? The y coordinate is minus three. This is equals to the gradient is the same. The gradient is the same. The gradient is the same. Uh, the gradient is the same, so we're going to have x. Now, we have a minus here, and we equally have a minus on 2. So this is going to be x minus negative 2. So because we have a negative and negative, let's add. Okay? Now, this is what I was saying. Like, if this is a fraction, it's better and even simpler to cross multiply this one. So you've got this multiplied by this going to be 2, one. Right? This and that you have 6 is equals to this one gets us okay. Then this and that okay, or maybe it will be easier if I can show it like this 2 y minus 3. Then we have 1. Oh, uh, like this okay. Then we go on and say, then we have 2 y. Uh, Minus 6 is equals to this, minus 2. Like that? All right. Then, now we, we, we can put the like terms together. Just for simplicity, we have this plus 6. We have 2y is equals to minus plus 4. Okay. We can leave our answer at this point, or if you want, you can simplify where you say y is equals to minus x over 2, and then plus plus 2, plus 2 here, because this 4 has also been divided by 2. 
So you get two. This or this one. That's what is going to be your answer. Basically, when we are dealing with lines that are uh, uh, equations of the lines that are parallel to each other. So sometimes you need to, they are, they are just things that you have to, to, to get to know it. The x axis, the y axis, uh, the origin. This is the origin, which is 0, 0. This is the y axis. This is the, I mean, this is the x axis, and then this is the y axis. Okay? So sometimes they're going to use those things. So if you are given this line, they've given you the equation, another line here, and you see they are parallel to each other, definitely that's what we are considering. So we shouldn't be able to have, uh, 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 we should, shouldn't be able to have issues here. That would be easier for us. So um, maybe you may want something to try. Let me just use these same ones. Then I'm going to say uh, parallel, here I'll give you, y minus 4x is equal to what? 1. And the second one I'm going to say uh, 6x minus 2y uh, minus 4 is equal to 0. Then this side we say we have 3 comma 0. And this side we always have negative 2 comma negative 1. So you can work out these ones just for practice. Here you just have to do the same thing blah blah and do the same uh, according to the explanation that I did. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. Alright.